and I'm going to go down to the spray can. And you remember yesterday we talked about the spray can in relationship to spraying um, keywords. Well, today we get to use it to add the style. So rather than going into a section of images like this and grabbing this image through this image and then going into the develop module and working on you know, that set of images to add some style, um, what I'll do is I will do bulk style changes based on just my impression of the photos. So I'm just going to scan through the photos and add my style to them. So I'm going to click on that little spray can and if you zoom in here, you can change this to say settings. Once you change it to settings, it's going to spray any presets that you have. And so we're going to go here down to our Creative Live presets. So we're going to just spray Creative Live's presets on this. So these are the four that we've made during the Creative Live period that are posted uh, for those who pay for this, the class. And uh, let's just do this, uh, this blue saturation film curve that was that we did yesterday that was kind of cool. And uh, now I'm just going to go through and look for opportunities where that would be an interest. I think it would be really interesting here. So I'm just going to scan here and just click on this one and drag across those four and all of four of those get that setting. And then I'll just scan and look for any, oh that one could use it. Um, let's see, what else could we do? I don't think I want to put it on food. That would be a bad idea, um, right? Uh, th this is a cool, I'm just going to use it on this. This would be an interesting place for it. Um, so I'm just going to spray it across all of those so I get that interesting look. But now, if I wanted to, I could also say, you know what also would be c cool with this is rather than just that one, what if I used my everyday favorites and added some, you know, age sepia to it. So now it's got the effect on it, but now I'm adding some warmth to the whole thing. So they're additive to each other. So if you, if you spray one preset on there and then you take another preset, like a, say a vignette, and start spraying it, it'll add vignettes around. And so the idea is that you just scan through a grid of images and as you see things that, that fit the style you want, just spray that style. I don't, I don't, you know, go through all sorts of different styles. I might have four or five or six styles that happen upon a wedding. Um, and so I'll go through and do all my black and whites. So that's one that I always do is I go in and I look for all the images that need to have, you know, a nice rich black and white. And so then I'll scan through and say what needs to be black and white. Well, clearly I don't want this orange shirt. It's just too orange. Hers as well. And so, like for instance, in this shot right here, the, this girl here has an orange shirt. It's too orange. His shirt is too orange. And so we can't see the bride and groom, which is the subject of the photograph, because the orange shirts are drawing our attention. And so every single one of these become black and white. That's the decision-making process. Anytime I see something where the, the, the actual colors are distracting from the primary focus of the photo, it becomes black and white immediately. And it's just a matter of spraying those as black and white. So there's the orange shirts again, so I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm negating the orange shirts. So anywhere I see those orange shirts throughout this uh, rehearsal uh, time, I'm gonna spray those. The other place that I'll do it is, um, you know, like this one where it's just there's, just, there's not much to the photo for color. Color doesn't mean much to it, so black and white is a much more interesting way to see that photograph. 